Welcome to this month's Chichester College News. In this episode, we'll be looking at the new builds in Chichester and finding out about our travel shop. We start by interviewing our principal, Sheila Legrave. Hello, Sheila. It's the start of the academic year. How is student recruitment for this academic year? Student recruitment is looking really great. Um, we think that we've got more students than we had this time last year. So far enrolled, we have 3,500 16 to 18 year olds and 1,500 19 year olds and then of course a number of apprentices, a number of international students um, and a number of people doing adult education classes but the figures look very good for us this year. Are there any new government policies affecting students this year? The main policy which probably is not the most popular is that if you have come to us having not achieved a grade C in your GCSE at English or Maths, you have to retake that qualification. Particularly if you got a D, you have to register to retake it this year. And that has resulted in 900 students being registered to do English and Maths GCSE retakes, which is a huge increase on last year. What is the key messages to your staff this month? Well, as everyone knows, we are waiting for our Ofsted inspection, and um, it's, it's quite challenging to hear that there are colleges round about us um, for whom have had the call from Ofsted. So it's very difficult to um, continue to focus and feel worried that Ofsted will suddenly phone up on a Thursday and they will be in on a Monday. So my key messages to staff is keep doing what you do really well because we provide outstanding teaching and learning to our students. Try and find time to relax. And I know it's difficult if you're a lecturer doing lots of marking. Um, and try to remember that there is a break when you get to half term because um, you'll be able to do some relaxing before you come back for the second half of term. And in the end, we are providing outstanding teaching and learning for our students. We're currently in one of the new builds the college has undertaken this year, G Block. What are the benefits of the builds both here and at Brinsbury campus? Well, we've got two fantastic new buildings. At Brinsbury, we've got a new building called the Cops, and it's housing dog grooming, floristry, animal care, veterinary nursing, and it is the most superb facility and the animals um, who have m been moved from the old block into the new block have wonderful new homes. There's a new veterinary surgery, there's a fantastic science area uh, and there's a floristry shop. So it is absolutely beautiful, state-of-the-art facilities for our students at Brinsbury. Here we're standing in G Block. It was opened by our local MP last Friday. It provides a opportunity for all our construction students to come together under one roof. Uh, we're in carpentry and joinery, but we also have furniture making, brickwork, plumbing, painting and decorating, soft furnishings and electrical in this building. Uh, it, there are some tremendous facilities, but also there is great advantage for the students because they're back on this main campus. Um, they can mix with girls, who they definitely missed when they were over in Terminus Road, um, but they can also access our facilities in the way that they couldn't when they were over there and play a greater part in student life. The facilities are really good at this college. I enjoy doing paint deco here. Uh, yeah, it's really good. There's loads of new facilities and everything because the teachers are really nice. So you can just cooperate with them and the help teachers like Lewis are really good with the electricals. G-Block's a good new facility. Um, all the equipment in here is all up to date and it's easy to use. We've got um, good staff. Here we are in the brand new cafe, just over the bridge from G Block. <laughs> coffee wise, we do wear a Costa coffee, so we sell all sorts of coffees from lattes, cappuccinos, americanos, and we do ice drinks as well. And food wise, we sell paninis, uh, toasties, regular sandwiches, we do hot food on bacon baguettes, uh, hot sausage rolls, burgers, quite a variation, but we're still 
adding things on, aren't we? We're hoping for some hot soup and some jacket potatoes to come along. So we're kind of chatting to the customers and finding out what they want, really. And what we can do. Yeah. Very busy. Today is rather quiet, actually, but it's Friday. But it, it's very busy. Each week's getting busier and busier. So as people find out where we are, because that was a bit of a problem that nobody really knew we were here. I do now. Yeah. They love it. Quite chilled out. Uh, it's kind of like a new, nice new furniture. Yeah, it's really nice, colourful, good stuff. But it's certainly closer to people in B block and E block rather than having to walk right the way up to the front of the college. Let's go in the travel shop. Hello, welcome to College Travel. So here in College Travel, we're here to book holidays for staff and students and external customers uh, visiting the site. Uh, you can book any normal holiday that you would book in any other uh, travel agency uh, within College Travel. The huge selling points of coming into College Travel are that we are an independent travel agency. So you walk into here and we will um, sell you any type of holiday that you'd like to go on, from package holidays to flights to car hire, theatre tickets, ferry trips. Uh, you name it, we do it. If you were to walk into a high street travel agency, they would try to sell you your, their own in-house tour operators. So number one, we are independent. Number two, we give you staff discounts, staff and student discounts. We give you 5% off of any package holiday booked, so that's good news for you. Um, and we also don't charge a credit card handling fee. So for all of those lovely, expensive family holidays you're going to book with College Travel, uh, you'd be delighted to hear that we do not charge you a credit card handling fee. So please come along, please give us your inquiries, pick up the phone, email collegetravel at chichester.ac.uk and we would be delighted to help you. Thank you. If you have any questions for Sheila, please email them to the address at the bottom of this screen. See you next month.